our selection of props for the Super Rugby Rejects. And we're heading back to France for a man that has not only a silver, but also a bronze Rugby World Cup medal next to his name. Specifically, we're going to Toulouse, where we'll be looking for Nipu Laulala, the next name on the Rejects hit list. What's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well and welcome back along to the Super Rugby Rejects series where today we're looking to grab another former All Black to the mix of this Rejects team. Nipu Laulala is the man we are looking for and he has spent not very long over in the Northern Hemisphere since the end of the Rugby World Cup in France. This is a man with over 50 caps for the All Blacks and like I mentioned at the start, a silver and a bronze medal for the All Blacks at the last two 2019 and 2023 Rugby World Cups. Where did it all start though for Nepo? Well, he's been around the block just a little bit as well. Poached from Auckland to Canterbury, where he started off his professional career going through the NPC with the Canterbury team before eventually making that big break into the Crusaders in 2012. He stayed with the Crusaders for about four seasons before moving his way over to the Chiefs where he spent a number of about four years there as well. Then he did even further north and went back to the Blues for a couple of seasons as well. At the conclusion of the World Cup, he headed over to France, where he's now with Toulouse and has just a wee few caps to his name so far from the 2023-24 season in with the French club. Of course, as a man, like I said, with over 50 appearances for the All Blacks and, of course, coming from a family with very, very good prestige as well. Brothers who have both been professional rugby players, one of them in KC La La La, another All Black, and the two, La 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 was also an NPC player for the family. Now he's looking to make his next move, the boldest of all, to move across to the Rejects, provided we actually have a second half performance today. Of course, the team he is in, Toulouse, is stacked. And I mean stacked. This team is incredible. Players out their nose who can single-handedly wipe a game off the floor. For us, though, we've picked up Scotty Seal in the last episode. He'll be starting and he'll be going one-on-one -on -one with the man on that we are trying to grab on that tight end side. Seal on our loose end. And Cyril Bai versus Big Ben, Tommy Afuna, of course, Malbaka will take on Dion Furi. We have changed up the rest of our team a little bit as well. For Fintas back to partner of Skelton. And Lazana Samu will tell Fua, stay in that back row. Vula will is back because I wanted to see what Canetas could do at fullback. Of course, we changed up that midfield bringing uh, Reese Hodge back into 12 with Fiki Toa, Maitland and Lowe staying on the wings, and Joey Powell gets another chance for his kicking game to really shine, but look who he's up against, Dupont, Intermac, Malia, Chocolates, Aki, Capazzo, Ramos, not to mention a number of more who are on the bench for this Toulouse side, and not even those guys, the ones who don't even make the 23, Tuning out to Towson, Jermaine Pacines, Brennan, Aldegheri, Nitti, Mashan, it's, it's stacked. It's absolutely stacked. Bundy comes onto our bench swell along with Carter, Hogarth's there, Alua Tua, Aldron, Jaeger, Kitschoff, and Creamy complete our 23. Right, the target is there as Intermac comes forward to kick off this big clash for, of course, possession of Nipo Laulala, tight hit prop, and of course, former All Black as well, Scouting. Release. Goes rumbling on forward. Of course, it is the Super Rugby Rejects in the blue kits tonight. With uh, Toulouse playing in the green and black, as it goes down to Ramos. He drills this one straight to touch. No risks taken there from the French and Toulouse fullback. Of course, here is Nipo Laulala, he's in the background, trot back to his own trial, and he looks focused, he looks determined. Let's Let's scrub that off his face as quickly as we possibly can. He'll be wearing number three tonight. So if you see the red and black doing the number 20, doing the big jobs in number three, as I say that, as Ben Wollabola goes so and he's taken high. Goodness, it's going to be yellow card. Oh, it's going to be an instant dismissal. Thomas Ramos is gone. Well, he's been about one of the only players in a Toulouse show who's touched the ball. And Ramos has gone to the bin and step up the blue jerseys. Step up, Reese Hodge. It's a biggish kick here. The wind is in his face, so he's got to be careful about how he nudges this one. There we go. He's giving that one a good little tickle. Strikes it, left hand upright, allows the wind to curl it back, but it won't be strong enough to push it all the way. It's a good kick from Reese Hodge, 
And it's 3 0 rejects up early over Toulouse. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Good early start. Ramos in the bin. Joey Powell's kicking, coming to the fore. A big bench ready to come on for a member to replace the Mezzazana. Who had a Volavolo who really loves to run. Take his chances, Volavolo. I tell you what. This pal, nice little ball to Fafita, who stopped in his tracks. He's gone down in the heat there, Fafita. Does well to recycle the ball here, James Lowe. Rare chance for Lowe. Down this right wing. Beats one. Offloads brilliantly to Skelton, who twirls out of a second. Offloads it to no one in particular. And the ball has come back and picked up by Toulouse. Dupont goes short. There he is, Nicolala. Great ball from him. Running out to the midfield. Now we've got to really look to cook this up because they are dangerous through the middle of the park. Don't worry about what they can do through there. Peter Aki making that big bust. It's a ball picking out here. Dupont with a Release. snipey little run around the fringes. Now they open it up. It's in the middle. Malvaka has a crack. Just the other 22 here to lose a man in the bin. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're getting monstered. Getting monstered in the ball. Sits up here. Capazzo plays nine. Now it's inside with a drop goal! Okay, didn't expect that one. And out of nowhere, Malia has slapped over three points. Right, well that was very bizarre. Juan Cruz Malia, the Argentinian, uh, has just knocked over three to tie it up. That was exactly what we didn't want to happen. The Chocolates and Aki have been, not of course Al Bundy, but Peter instead. Uh, have been causing us a few issues already, which is very concerning the way we play in the second half. Here we go, back underway. We really need like four tries in this first half against anyone to make sure we don't completely lose our marbles. Look how tackle this guy. Slippery is an absolute slimy frog, I tell you what. Still another one there, Aki. Now they look for the left-hand side. Now it's Juan Cruz Malia up against low. Oh, turn over, Big Ben. Well done. Powell's dropped that. I thought he tried to offload it, but it's been straight spilt. Fafita will play nine. Oh, look at this from Samu. Cutting back the other way. Looking to let go of Fikatawa. How the wheels. Dupont will force him to the corner, but it won't stop him. Malakai Fikatawa gets the only try. Well, the split back cut move from Pete Samu was the catalyst for this try. Watch him hit the angle here. Watch him run from deep. Cut back towards the breakdown. Then swerved back to his left side. Vicky Toa ran support lines, went wide to his left, and had just enough of the tank to get away from very tenacious Antoine Dupont. Luckily, this side. The rejects get the try. Right, not allow for this wind. I feel like that's going to be the biggest factor in the kicking game here for Reece Hodge. He's dealt with that very well. He put it up high. He told the wind to do his worst. And his worst was not good enough to even trouble the former Wallaby. Back to remain in back. Who goes down to the 22? Scotty Seo and Tal Fuller charges up and charges and he's lost the ball. Well, that's a big blow there as well. It's Malia's surely tackle from an offside position near Barik Solz. He was never back below that last ruck. Great tackle. Dragging players down on their knees. Willis cross, Shalom, and number eight was the last carry. Here's Malia once more. Very good at the breakdown there, Malia. He was isolated somehow. Police. Didn't give the ball up. We pick and go here. Cross doing well. Giving a nice little pop back on the inside to his Release. back row, buddy. Dupont to the right. Oh, that's a very good tackle there. No way through it for Silbite. Dupont once more. Offloads again. There he is. Nepo La La La. Gets it open up. Now the chance. Ramos up from fullback. Messi Zalong takes it to ground. We pick and go. Then we twirl for a contact. Great pass out. Turn to Mag. And he's got to go a meter of reach short. Whoa, good saving tackle there from Del Furi. Offloaded, went into back again for Ramos. Is it Ramos or is it Aki? I can't tell the uprights in the way. It is Peter Aki. It was a 13 or 15. The uprights obscuring the angle, but Peter Aki.
Rocky gets the finish. And a man who has cost us a number of metres tonight. Oh, he got the offload perfectly for Ramos as well. 15 and 13, combining perfectly. Ramos up in the line, making a huge difference to that attack from Toulouse. Well, they could tie this up here just for half time, and I am absolutely freaking out about this one because we can't play a second half. We have no second half skill in our bone at all. The last two or three episodes, we have been blitzed by second half performances. It's luckily that our first halves have kept us in control, but today, uh, that is not the case. Great take down and an injury to Capazzo! Oh no, well I guess they got good replacements on here, but doing the answer would be my guess. No, Telson, the man to do the replacement. Well, there you go, what do I know? Very, very adept though at taking that place on the wing is number 23, Telson. Crouch, find. Lucas, by the first name. Two minutes to go to a half time. 10 10 is the score. The ball on the feed! Oh, the rejects demolish! Great pass out to Powell. He looks for a with Hodge. And Reese Hodge will back himself all the way. No need for a whistle. We've got a half time buzzer. Oh, Reese Hodge really is a special talent to this region side. But how about the addition of Scotty Seo? Magical work. Of course, the pick up from Taufua allowed Joey Powell to go wide. That created an overlap. The fact that Joe Powell lured in at least two defenders created more than one player on the overlap. And Reese Hodge, well, he's having a good night tonight, isn't he? Hodge is raking in the points. And the Rejects take a lead into the half. A lead that I don't know if they deserve. I don't know if they should have, but here we go. We'll take it anyway. It's half time. It is 17 points to 10. It is the rejects. I won't say in control, but I will say in the lead. They've had very little ball. Toulouse have been outstanding. They are a team that if you give too many chances, they will punish you. And they've done exactly that as well. Taking points whenever they've been on offer. And of course, making them sure that they are always in check of the rejects. It's going to be a huge second 40 minutes because, as you know, our last few second 40s have been very, very poor. So let's get down to it. Rip it off like a band-aid. Rip. Let's go. And let's make changes early. I know I said that last episode, and I didn't do it. But today, I feel like I'm going to do it. You know why? I don't know why. Win that out back now. To make things a bit easier for Reese Hodge. Just thinking Toa. Big spot. Spins out of two. Off to Bola Bola. He's been all right tonight. Release. Really Bola Bola. Can hit us a full back. Haven't seen him at all. Scott Seo. Over the top of the head he goes. Joey Powell passes to no one. Reese Hodge grabs it. What a ball for Reese Hodge. Behind it. Can hit us. I just said I'm not seeing him. No. Steps in. Big spot. Can't get past the second. What a run from low to finish it off. Three! Whoa, big neck cracker there on the tackle. Powell throws it out. Kanetis still up on the line. Samir Funa, he straightens things up. He loses the ball. Great turn over there for Toulouse. Now they go into that midfield. Release. It's a hard line from Sokolades as well. Almost intercepted, Joey Powell. Release. Rebound like a kindergarten scoreboard. Oh! Massive shot from Scotty Seo. And he's going to go to the bin. Tommy Foon is there. Look at the size of those two boys. Oh, oh! There's a few stakes in that picture, I tell you what. 17 points to 10. Seo in the bin. Trouble. And paradise for the rejects. We need a drop goal or something. Another penalty would go well. Half an hour of play. Still a long time left in this game. Mubarak in the throw. Gets his man perfectly. Nails it as well. Arnold doing the job. Oh, no, this is not good. This is not good for us. We're getting demolished with those numbers in the mall. Dupont goes deep into Mac. 
Beats one, two. Third brings them down. Good tackle for Kitoa. The pawn goes back short side. Something through one is Nepal La La La. And they criticise him for getting a scrum demolished, but at least he's still on the field. Big dummy throw him there. In the second rope. Intermac cracks this down the centre of the park. Kanetis eats that out for breakfast. Kanetis beats one. Offloads out the back of the hand. Fikitoa picks it up. Skelton has a good golden. Faree, Maitland, Helena Hodge. Here we go, lads. Now's it time to cook. Winded is back. Hodge goes for the kick. Lazada leads the chase. Great continuity there by the two to chase us hard, but great knowledge to go for the wind and a forward pass. Marcos Malia making Fine. the error. Six. But how about the game IQ from Reese Hodge? He knew not to kick too deep and how far will go. Straight in. Ramos dragged into the try line. And the try will be scored by John Taufua and the Rejects are rejecting to loose. Well, Reese Hodge, man, it's all about Reese Hodge. Anytime you can look up, judge wind, and still perfectly execute your kick, just shows what a world-class player Reese Hodge is. Taufua, number eight, coming to right. Here's the start. Let's make our changes, shall we? Man, we are half a team without Rex Hodge in that midfield, I tell you what. So, CO is still off. So, we can't make any changes there, uh, which I'm not too upset about. Back row, I will bring on Holgaard. I really like playing with Joey Powell, but I would like to see Holgaard get some more time at nine. Uh, our key into that midfield, what have we seen? Fikitao has been all right, uh, but at the back, it has been, it's been exciting enough. Let's take Fikitao off. And uh, Solomon Carter. Lowe's been good. Maitland has been invisible. So we'll make that change as well. Volumana can stay on uh, in the back row. Pete Samu. I mean, it doesn't matter where we put Samu. He just doesn't like doing much, does he? Really, really high quality player. Uh, offers very little. And Will Scout needs a break, man. Will Scout has done some absolute minutes. So let's make those changes. 22 to 10. Am I going a bit overconfident? Yeah, probably. Here is Reese Hodge. We're not taking him off though. Oh, no way. The day we take off Reese Hodge will be a sad, sad day. He is so key for us, man. Right. Will Scout, man. Don't, don't look sad, dude. You've played like 80 minutes of every game. Such a massive part of our game plan. But against a team like Toulouse with 18 minutes to go, surely with a 14 point lead, we can rely on these boys to do the job. Kick off from Intermac. Oh, look out, Hoggard. He's got an absolute fistful straight away. Gone, oh, James Lowe. Hits it in pace. Now he puts the kick ahead. The chase, though, looking very good for Malia. But Lowe is bearing on down. Lowe, from a kick ahead. Lowe, try. Oh, miracle rugby from James Lowe. Malia looked like he had it covered. But he was nowhere close. Well, some quick hands and what a pace. James Lowe hit that ball. Malia got a big head start, but with the wind pushing the ball forward, James Lowe beats him to it with an outstretched boot. And then a bit of a tussle to the end there with Thomas Ramos. The dive, finishing in style. James Lowe, who justifies his continued selection on that right hand side. Now winded our back. How good man. How good. So I think we've got CO back with all those changes as well. The yellow card period seems to be over. We've taken over the game. And what a time to make subs man. I tell you what, around the 50 minute mark, that must be key time. What an impact it had already. Into that gets us back underway. Up goes for Fita. Away for Tommy Funa. Of course, does what he does at best. Here's Hogard. Well, dancing Hogard. Love to see him twinkle those toes. Bit pointless in the run, but still was fun to see. Here's Fafita. Here's Scott Sio looking to make up for a little bit of lost time there. 
Very average pass. Actually, very average. Picked up there from front of cross. Here is Sil Bight. Release. Chance for Toulouse to put something in the comeback column. For once, we've actually performed as a second half team. As not only did they lose the win. Who went off for the first half? Capazzo, wasn't it? Now Dupont has gone off. So Jermaine, I presume, will be able to come on. Crouch. Bind. Unbelievable. Set. Less than seven to play. Last struggle rejects demolish to loose. This time. Oh, they do it late! And Telfur will say, I'm off. Pack the bags. Here we go. Reese Hodge. One more. Bunny key. How are the wheels? They're good enough. The reserves making a massive impact. As Bundy finishes the job. All created by the explosive John Tafua. Well, it wasn't the prettiest try to watch. But Tafua really draws in. That's cover defence that Toulouse like to play with. They bring their wingers in, try to cut off the path to the winger. But well, we got so many numbers left over out wide from some far too tight defence from Toulouse. Makes it an easy way back for the rejects to fight their way to get to the outside. Here's Reese Hodge again. We could have taken him off. Let's be honest. Full confidence in this team, man. Full confidence. Great kick and goal. It's 38-10. Rejects flying. Lead at 28 points. We really have performed for once in the second half. Minute and a half to play. Is there more on the offer here for the Rejects? Tommy Afuna says surely. And he's the captain, so you follow the lead, right? All guard. Trying to catch Advantage. that player offside. He's got him! Oh, he got him brilliantly! It was Nepo La La La. Oh, it was absolute class. Fafita. Away for so Advantage many. Over. Cutter. Advantage is over. Cutter gets monstered. Dropping back. Hogan floats it out for Ardron. Ardron skirts it out to Lizana. Aki straining. Aki looking. Aki tripping. Someone want to join that ruck? Rather than standing around there, Walla Walla. We'll pick. We'll go. Tommy Afuna over the top for James Lowe. Salt in the wound. And a classy finish for James Lowe. Picks up a double. How good has James Lowe looked tonight? Really solid. Really strong. Good finishing ability. Good work off the bench as well. Ben Tommy Afuna, man. Put the C next to his name. And he becomes even better than he was before. James Lowe gets another. Just like that, job is done. Well, I was a bit concerned at halftime. Really, really was. We're going to take... We're going to do something a little bit different, right? We're going to just take this back for a bit of funsy. I was a bit concerned at halftime because we weren't in control. We scored late to make it 17-10. The second half, we absolutely took them to the cleaners. The kick is good. What can't Reese Hodge do? I mean, he's done everything so far, hasn't he? He kicks him just about halfway. He smokes the ball from everywhere. He creates tries. He scores tries. He is our ultimate player in this team. Job done. And we can say welcome to the rejects. To Nipo La La La, which completely covers our depth. We've got very good starting and reserve loose head and tight head props now. And of course, La 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 will cover that tight head position along with, well, Big Ben Tommy Funa, of course, the other, and John Afoa as our complete depth through our reserves. But Toulouse here tonight, Aki got the try, made it really interesting at 10 10. And to make, of course, the conversion, and the scoreboard was opened up from Malia, who responded to a Reese Hodge penalty goal. Malia with a droppy, of course. Tries, though, for the backs all tonight, aside from Talfua, with his number eight pickup off the base of the scrum. He got one, Talfua. Hodge, Fikatoa, and Aki got one as well. James E. Lowman, two tries for the Irish winger.
Halftime and full-time stats tell a very different story. Rejects dominate the second 40. Nine line breaks, man. We were hot to trot, and I tell you, we put to loose the sword. Injuries, well, maybe a concern for that to lose side, who just could not keep up the pace, losing a couple of very good players in Capazzo, and then obviously Dupont really put them in the bin. But of England, 35-point victory, 45-10. Let's get our man Nippo in the team. So when it comes to props, we really are looking fit and healthy and well, right? We've got some good ones to start. We've got some good ones on the bench. And we've got some crappy guys who will, like this fella who will sit the reserves. Let's get our man in. Um, let's make sure I've got that. There we go. Nippo. Nippo. There he is. Look at him. Pretty little man that he is. He looks like he's going to beat you up in an alley. Nippo Lalala will come off the bench uh, as a tight head. Oliega can switch his way out. Nippo can come in. And get a start at tight head. Big Ben, you've been brilliant. You are our captain and our leader. But let's give Scotty C.O. and Nipo Lalala a chance to combine in the middle. Who will take over Captain C? I mean, it's got to be the old man, right? It's got to be the old man, the old Furi. Let's give him a chance to wear the armband. Also, uh, Furi could go into the back row. But maybe, just maybe, we'll wait till we get our final hooker to join the squad. Which could be next. But you know what? I'm going to go something a little bit different. For next episode. I'll adjust this team appropriately for our next game. But let's have a look at Nepo first and foremost. And just take a look at those two main skills. Aggression and strength. When this guy hits a ruck, the earth moves away from the ruck. He's that strong, that powerful. You just don't try clean out Nepo la la la. He's so very strong on the tackle. Very strong at breaking tackles. And he's got some okay as rugby skills generally right he can catch a bit he can pass a little bit but that's not matter don't matter about nepo just clean rucks nepo that's all you need to do so following on from that nepo in the squad let's look to next episode where we are looking very close to having this complete team now i've been saying that for a while but my list is getting shorter and shorter nepo's in the team right we've got one more hooker to get who will be our starting hooker our best hooker yeah dion free's not that man he's gonna be our bench hooker We've got a fly half to pick up, as well as a scrum half. We've got one more of each of those to grab as well. But next episode, and this one I think we probably is what we really need the most, is going to be another back rower. I just, I like the back rowers we've got, but I just don't see consistency out of these guys. So this guy is not only a super rugby reject, he really does fall under that umbrella really well, but more so, this guy is an international slash all black reject he's that sort of guy that gets one or two caps doesn't get reselected despite playing really well and then has no future in himself right he just has to find a way out and overseas is that way out because the dream of the all black jersey just doesn't seem to be coming back that allure of the all black jersey passed him by and that couples for our extra Scrum Half we're going to pick up as well. The man who floundered in and out of the All Black jersey. He is going to be one we're going to be picking up soon. Also, he's from Start Front Say, the Scrum Half. But the one we're going for next episode, the back rower. Yes, he is from Clermont. He is, what, well, I think he's only a one cap, maybe two cap All Black as well. And of course, he come from the Chiefs. If you want any more guesses, well, then you're just cheating. But for today, Nepo joins the team. And say welcome along, Nipo La La La, to the Super Rugby Rejects. Next episode, back to France. But I think for the first time, we're off to see Clermont. Looking through the list, yeah, I think this is the first time we go to Clermont. So let's get the job done. I'll see you next time. Until then, welcome, Nipo, and take care.